Hey guys, I am Koda Komi and welcome back to Stray Gods, the role-playing musical. I am excited to jump back in and explore more of this game with you guys. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Also, quick little thing, you might notice my voice sounds a little bit off. I do unfortunately have a cold, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> and yeah, that's really all I have to say. I'm super excited to see what happens next. And with that, let's jump in to Act 2. Hey, Freddy. Have, have you been waiting up this whole time? Uh, uh, yeah? A goat man sends you off into the night. Your life is on the line. And I'm gonna, what, sleep? What if you were taken prisoner, kept in a cave by a cyclops, or I don't know, turned into a tree? I was worried sick. Ah, Next time. I'll romance you next time. I turned into a tree? A tree? That's <laughs> random. Yeah, a Apollo kept chasing this woman named Daphne, and ugh, it doesn't matter. Important thing is, you're back. I met Apollo tonight, actually. What? No way! Okay, alright. You you have to tell me everything that happened. Huh. Persephone runs a club called the Underworld. That's a little on the nose. I wouldn't suggest saying that to her face. And you ended up staying with her instead of Apollo? I don't know, Grace. She sounds a little volatile. She's not so bad. She has her reasons. Yeah, she's not so bad. She's not so bad. At least with Persephone, you know exactly where you stand. I guess. Wow, she just sounds so different from the myths about her. So what are your options? You need to go back to Persephone at some point? I could go back to Apollo's as well. Make sure he's not sore about what happened. Oh, and, uh, there's this. Pan left a card, says, Come by Olympus. <laughs> I doubt he means the mountain in Greece. Huh. I wonder what he wants. Probably to cash in his precious favor. Still not a fan? You know how some people just set your teeth on edge? That's Pan. I can't help it. But it doesn't matter. I said I'd help, and that's what I'll do. You can count on me, Grace. Thanks, Freddy. The muse! Oh, the embodiment of inspiration! Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> Kind of in a little bit of this uh, predicament of checking on Apollo, seeing what Pan wants, or going right back to Persephone to talk about how we're going to figure out the murderer. Cause this one, it all it says is, sh I should talk to Persephone or go see what Pan wants. But I also wouldn't mind checking in on Apollo. I mean, my heart of hearts, I want to talk to Persephone. Like, I'm trying to romance her. I like her. I, but I'm concern that what if I can further the story more by doing these things instead of jumping right into Persephone. So we will check out what's up with our boy Apollo. Uh, Grace? Yeah, told you she'd be back. What are you doing here? When you stay with Persephone, I thought that I didn't expect to see you again. Hey, you were a jerk. <laughs> Wanted to check on you. Can't we be friends? You can still help. Um, can we be friends? Why? Just because I think Persephone can help me, we can't still be friends? Is that what we are, Grace? Friends? You helped me. You brought me to Persephone. I'd say that qualifies. I'm not sure I've helped you. All I've done is dropped you in Persephone's lap. What, and that's bad? Yes. Well, no. I can never be objective when it comes to my family. They bring out the worst in me. It's why I avoid them whenever possible, and why I should have resisted getting dragged into all this. Um, uh, <laughs> I can't be charming. All this, I'm not letting you off the hook. Sorry about that. All this? What do you mean, all this? Saving my life? Helping find your friend's murderer? When we met, 
I said I would just make things worse. And I was right. You haven't. Even if you had, isn't now the time to fix it? Goodbye, Grace. I hope you find what you're looking for. God damn, Apollo. Really, dude? What an ass. <laughs> well, talk to Pan or go to Persephone. Pan just seems like bad news. I don't know. I could be shooting myself in the foot. I don't know. Like, this is curious to me, but the gameplay I want to go is figuring out with Persephone. And I don't want to ruin that chance by going with Pan. So I'm going to have to go with Persephone. Oh, back already, are you? It's just as well. I've asked around, called in some favors. Just enough to get an idea of what all the idols are currently up to. Much as I'm loath to admit it, I'm back to thinking Pan may be our prime suspect after all. Okay, okay. I l oh, yeah, Pan asked to see me. Oh, he did write the paper. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay, you changed your mind about him. Straight to business, I see. Um, I'm gonna go this one. Why Pan? I thought you'd rejected him as a suspect. I did. It doesn't seem like his style. Pan has always preferred scheming over direct confrontation. But the thing is, how did he know about you so quickly? What does he hope to gain by sticking his nose in? <laughs> a favor or two, I guess. Half the idols owe him a favor or two. No, no, he's up to something else. Until I know what it is, I can't discount the possibility that he's involved in all this. You should know. Pan asked me to meet him at Olympus. I'm not sure why. Oh, that's interesting. Did he happen to say what he wanted? No. He probably wants to cash in his favor. Huh. Yeah, that's what he does. Collect favors and then use them to gather even more favors. To what end, I dare not guess. Yeah, it just screams bad news. Maybe that's a motive? Should I not see him... He seems harmless enough. Maybe that's a motive. Maybe that's what went wrong with Calliope. A favor she wouldn't repay. Or something she'd discovered and refused to conceal. Well, that would be just like her. You should go ahead and see what Pan wants. It might be useful. Just throw caution to the wind, huh? <laughs> Somehow you'll manage. I want to send you to a party, Grace. One Aphrodite is holding. She and Eros know Pan perhaps better than anyone. If you go, it'll give you a chance to find out what he's really up to. Damn, being sneaky. I like it. Why a party? Why a party? Couldn't I just go wherever she lives and ask her? You could, but if you go to this party, she'll be grateful. She holds it from time to time and always asks Calliope to attend, but Calliope never would. You can put two and two together. A grateful Aphrodite might be willing to tell you what Pan is really up to. Okay, I like what you're thinking. Yeah, why can't you talk to Aphrodite? You know Aphrodite better than I do. Can't you talk to her? She and I don't get along. Like how you and Apollo don't get along? Even more intensely than that. I once said some things about her husband. They were true, but unwelcome. Suffice it to say, if I showed up at Aphrodite's party, revealing Pan's secrets would be the last thing on her mind. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, what if I just talked to Pan? I still have that invitation from Pan. Maybe it'd be easier if I just went to see him. You should do both. Just... Don't believe a single word coming out of his mouth. I might catch him in a lie, which is just as telling. If so, you'd be the first. One wild party with a goddess of love coming up. <laughs> it's less of a wild party and more of a somber affair. You mean like a cocktail party? Let me put it this way. Apollo will likely be there. Gotcha. Expectations of fun downgraded considerably. I'll let you know what I find. Just shitting on Apollo. Um, okay, well, we'll talk to Pan solo and then try to get more information from the party.
I'd say hello, Grace, but I'm afraid that look on your face might be catching. I just... What is this place? It's a garden, darling. Surely even mortals have them. This building. All those people I pass getting up here. Are they all idols? Well, at least some of them. Welcome to Olympus, dear Grace. Our home hidden away in plain sight. Marvelous, isn't it? So this is the tree that we saw when we were singing. Does that mean that Grace didn't summon up that tree that was just like Pan's domain? Trying to like beckon Grace? Um, yeah. How many idols are there? I've met, what, less than 12? Oh, I don't know. 20? 30? Our numbers have dwindled so much I've stopped keeping track. I didn't know there were that many gods. We're not all equally legendary, it's true. Some idols were barely worshipped, others not at all. Indeed, not all of us are idols. Some are merely immortal. Hangers on, if you will. You'll meet them all, given time. Okay. So Olympus hidden. I've passed this part of the city a hundred times. I've never seen this building. Was it always here, or... Our Lady Hecate provides glamours that allow certain things to go unseen, such as my glorious horns. Olympus is the same. Those invited see it. Those who aren't see exactly what they expect. It's not anywhere as grand as in the old country, but it, it serves its purpose. I forgot to say, guys, keep your ears peeled for anything suspicious. We don't know what he's playing at. I don't know, Pan. Olympus seems pretty grand to me. As if mortals would know any better. This isn't the first time you've been here. I'm sure Hermes took you to Athena's dreary office. Uh, that's here? Huh. Good one, that Hermes. Almost as dull-witted as the original, but biddable. <laughs> Idols live here? I mean, Calliope didn't, obviously. Apollo doesn't either. One must have special dispensation from Our Lady of Wisdom, Athena, before they can take up a private dung heap like Apollo's. Am I gonna have to give up my apartment? <laughs> That's rather putting the cart before the horse, darling. First, you must outlive the weak. Right. Good point. You asked me to meet you here? I did, I did. Though I feared you might decline, considering your rather callous rejection earlier. Regardless, my pride is intact, as is the favor you owe me, which I now wish to collect. I was expecting, yeah, I really was. Persephone was right about, ooh, maybe don't bring in Persephone. I think that'll change his demeanor. Um, maybe not breaking rules for you seems like the best option. Fine. But just so you know, I'm not doing anything that's against the rules. I already have one trial coming. Grace, baby, Bubala. Have I ever led you astray? Yes. <laughs> not yet. Here's the thing. A friend has begged for my help, and you're far better suited than I to offer what he requires. I'll give you a key to reach the reliquary where he resides. You help him, and then we're even. If that's not enough incentive, the reliquary is also where you'll find the lovely Hecate. A sorceress of her power could aid your quest. What do you say? Um, I don't trust any of what this man just said. Yeah, what is a reliquary? What is this reliquary? Doesn't that have something to do with the bones of saints or something? <laughs> Not those relics. Our relics. The relics of ancient gods. Magical treasures collected over thousands of years. Books, mainly. We store them in a faraway place so no one unsavory can get their hands on them. Unsavory like you? Unsavory like most. Athena has decreed that these relics are not to be used by any save Hecate and herself. 
A rather dull waste of so much amassed knowledge and power, but who am I to judge? I'm not leader of the chorus. That's pretty shady there, Pam. This person I'm to help. What does he want? And why can't you do it? Well, Grace, there are some things you're better equipped to handle than I. This, as I understand it, is a delicate matter of the heart. One that requires a muse's hand. A matter of the heart? What, did you think I was sending you to rough someone up? Set something aflame? Don't be absurd. The man has an issue with his love life. Even if you can't help him, I'll treat the effort as worth the favor. <laughs> that's it? So that's it? Fix up someone's love life? Nothing trickier than that? Oh, the way you talk, Grace. It makes me blush. Well, it's just I trade in willing favors, Grace. If I didn't, no one would want to do as I ask, and then where would I be? I may seem untrustworthy, but allow me to reassure you. If I wish you harm, you will walk into that harm knowingly. And with hope and awe. <laughs> you have a very sly tongue. <laughs> I can see uh, where the pan romance options are. That's reassuring. Okay, get it. Did Calliope do that? Ooh, push him. Push him. What about Calliope? Did she walk into harm knowingly and with open arms? You tell me. I could deny it, of course, but if you choose not to believe anything I say, What's the point of asking the question? This Hecate, do you think she could help me? If she's of a mind. She is the goddess of dark magic, the creator of all our marvelous glamours. If anyone can help you, it is she. And if she's not of a mind? Then she won't help you. Grace, that part is up to you. I can't be expected to do everything, can I? No, but, you know, I'd like to know more information. <laughs> if these relics are off limits, does that mean they're dangerous? Some, but I'm not asking you to chase after any of that nonsense. In fact, I'd advise against it. But what if one of those relics could help me? <laughs> my, my, such an adventurer you are. It's possible, but ask Hecate first. She, and I mean this with complete and uncharacteristic seriousness, is not an idol you or anyone wishes to cross. Good to know. I'll think about it, but no promises. Marvelous. The gentleman you seek is named Asterian. Lovely fellow, quite harmless. I'll send a package to your domicile that contains directions and the key you'll need to reach the reliquary. I said no promises. Well, if you decide to go, Grace, you'll still need all those things. Say hello to darling Hecate on my behalf, will you? No trust. Okay. Do I talk about... Does Persephone have anything to say about what I did? Ah, Grace, there you are. Did you end up going to see Pan after all? He asked me to repay the favor I owe him by helping someone at a place called the Reliquary. The Reliquary? That's normally off limits to idols. How will you even gain access to it in order to do this favor for him? He gave me a key. Well, who knows where he got that? It all seems rather suspicious. Um, I agree. Will there be trouble? If it's off limits, does that mean I'll get into more trouble if I go? Possibly. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't. Hecate runs the reliquary and has considerable knowledge at her disposal. She might assist your investigation, provided it's written in her bloody book. Her book? You'll see. Now then, unless you've something else to ask? Um... Oh, tell me about Hades? Damn. Nah, tell me more about Calliope. Tell me more about Calliope. You and her were good friends, right? 
We were. And? And if you had told me a decade ago that I would become close to one of the muses, I would have laughed in your face. I always considered them Apollo's creatures. Calliope, Cleo, and Talia. Vapid, frivolous gods who handed off their idol on to any artist who took their fancy. Every time I met one of them, they were someone else. Apollo called them the sisters of beauty, no matter their gender. Can you imagine that? That's such a stupid name. I never thought of that. Do idols change gender a lot? We tend to seek out successors like ourselves, but it happens. With the muses, it happened frequently. Everywhere Apollo went, they surrounded him like a gaggle of ducklings. Just like him to gather his own fans. Wait, how, how did you end up with friends? If you disliked the muses so much, how did you end up becoming friends with Calliope? She sought me out. She'd become more and more unhappy on Olympus, so she decided to leave just as I had, long before. Calliope asked for my help, and I laughed in her face. Go ask one of your sycophant mortals, I told her. I mean, surely one of them has some threadbare couch you can sleep on. Wow. Typically, she was undeterred. She didn't just want a place to stay. She said she wanted to learn how to be truly independent from an idol who had mastered it. Hmm? What can I say? I mean, I am a sucker for a well-timed compliment. I took her in. And Apollo was furious. He and Calliope were barely speaking, but he was certain she'd come crawling back to Olympus. Oh, I made taking her in all the sweeter. What if it was Apollo that did it? Him, he could be jealous. Like maybe he was actually trying to like pin it on Persephone, but actuality it ended up being pinned on Grace. And that's why he like stopped and didn't want to go through with the death because he's maybe trying to learn how he can switch it around to pin it on Persephone maybe? That would be interesting. After you took Calliope in, that's when you became friends? Huh. No, not right away. I wasn't looking for a friend. What I was looking for was an opening act in the club. Calliope entertained here for years and then eventually turned from performing to attracting new acts. She was in her element. <sighs> she and I, uh, well, we warmed up to each other eventually. She was more capable than I expected, and I adored her furious rants. <laughs> Goliope didn't seem like the furious type when I met her. That's hard to picture. Oh, then you didn't really meet her. She was an idealist, and nobody could ever quite live up to her standards for very long. Her brothers and sisters, least of all. The idols needed to change, she said. They were withering away in the shadows, diminished and, and unwilling to save their own skins. When I joined the chorus, she expected me to change everything, as if I could single-handedly override Athena. I was to be her champion, and together we would bring revolution to the idols. Well, I was yet another disappointment. She left the club, but I gave her a place to live. We were supposed to stay in touch. But you know how it went from there. I kind of want to ask about Hades. But I like, also don't want to make Persephone mad. Oh, yes. That's where I'll be. Around. Thanks. I'm going to go to the party now. Fancy party? Check. Bunch of strangers? Check. Grace totally not dressed for the occasion? Check. Now, if only I knew what I was supposed to be doing here. Grace? You're here. Yeah. I'm invited, aren't I? I'm just surprised you even knew it was happening. Persephone said I should come to this. Whatever this is. Persephone didn't tell you? Uh, why am I not surprised? Came for Aphrodite's help. You didn't tell me either. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, you didn't tell me either. I came to see you, Apollo, and I don't recall you mentioning it. Persephone said it could help. You don't have any of Calliope's memories, right? 
No deja vu recollections that aren't your own? No. Should I have? Not right away. For a while, you won't remember anything. We call it the veil. In time, the veil will start to lift, slowly at first, but eventually you'll remember almost everything Calliope did. Interesting. Nobody told me that. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, what happens to me? Do I become Calliope? Or am I still just me, but with someone else's memories? That's gotta be a lot of memories. She was, what, a thousand years old? More than that. Much more. Then what happens to me in my piddly 20-something years? It can't be good. Eventually, it's like a flood. It becomes difficult to separate what's you and what's them. And all who came before them. <laughs> Rock on! I'll be fine! <laughs> will I become Calliope? I'm not sure what to think. That sounds awful. Yeah, will I become Calliope? You're saying I won't be me. I won't be Grace. <laughs> will I start calling myself Calliope? Maybe. Eventually. Most of us do. But most of us were chosen and prepared. <laughs> and I didn't choose this. I understand. Take some time to let it sink in. If you like, we can talk about it later. What? What does this have to do with the party? Aphrodite hasn't been the same since we came to the New World. She has horrific memories of what she endured during the war. Passing on her Eidolon is a way to forget for a while. That's what this party is for. Yeah, Aphrodite's gonna die? Why have a party for it? Why throw a party for it? Doesn't that mean everyone's here to... Watch her die? Yeah, I suppose so. We're also here to celebrate. We're here to help Aphrodite remember... before she forgets again. That's yeah. intense. Sounds like a real banger. This party isn't for us, Grace. It's for her. That is intense. This isn't the first time Aphrodite's done this. She's held this kind of gathering before, right? This is her fourth, I think. Perhaps fifth. So every time the veil, whatever you call it, when it starts to lift... Aphrodite's memories return, and eventually it is too much. We gather to pay our respects, and to honor the past. Well, she still remembers it. Yeah, did Calliope not approve? Wait, wait, wait. Persephone said Calliope always refused to come to these parties. She refused on principle. Everything Calliope did was on principle. She believed Aphrodite was indulging her sadness, wallowing in it. She thought Aphrodite should try harder. It was a point of contention between them. Aphrodite will be grateful you're here. Trust me. It's still pretty crazy, though. Yeah, do you support this? Do you support what Aphrodite is doing here? It's not my choice to make, Grace. Yeah, but you must have an opinion. That's a no. <laughs> eventually, you will remember what we experienced during the war. And eventually, you will remember that what Aphrodite experienced was far worse. If this is the mercy she requires... I will not tell her she should not take it. It's just crazy to think that she does that often. <sighs> I'm not a fan of the idea, but like, okay, because PTSD is a thing. And if you had the ability to just let all of that sadness go, to get to forget for who knows how long until that veil hits but just being able to forget all of that would probably feel amazing so even though i'm not a fan of it if you had that ability to do that i would get it it would make sense okay so what did aphrodite want calliope to do what does she want me to do well, knowing aphrodite she'll want you to make a production of it all she's not here just yet until she arrives, I suggest mingling. Mingling. Yeah, mingling. Talk to Eros. 
Or we can talk more if you like. Just try to relax, Grace. Sure, yeah. Relax. That's what this party is for, right? <laughs> what if Aphrodite is doing this right now at this specific timing because she wants to forget the fact that she killed maybe Calliope? Possibly? I'm gonna go talk to Eros, the sex god. <laughs> Grace! Hey, Eros. Nice to... <sighs> oh. Okay. Aphrodite will be so happy you're here. It means so much. You have no idea. Okay, big hug. <laughs> um, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? You seem a bit... Every time she does this, I don't know how to handle it. I almost want to run upstairs and demand she stop. Remind her that this never works. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't unload on you. It's, it's, it's been a bad week. Well, that's fair, though. I guess she's not really thinking about the people around her who have to watch her do this over and over and over again. Because this part now makes sense, too, because... Everyone's probably, they get sad because they're literally watching her do this. So they're losing the old Aphrodite for this new Aphrodite. So it's like, they're watching a friend die. And a new one be born that they only get to know and stuff for like, a, who knows how long before she does it all over again. From the sounds of it, this happens a lot. Every 20 years or so. That's how long she can hold out until... Until she just can't stand it anymore. Every time, Aphrodite forgets. At least for a while. But I don't. I remember everything. I'm there for the nightmares, the panic attacks, the days she doesn't even remember the war's over. And now I'm arranging her gathering again. So she can die again. And I'll watch it all. Again. That is rough, man. Is there no other way? Does Aphrodite really need to... To die? I've asked that so many times. She's tried magic, drugs, psychotherapy, meditation, everything we could possibly think of. But for a while, she'll deny anything's wrong. It all seems fine, and I start to hope. Maybe this time will be different. Then the nightmares begin and the memories return. More with each passing day until... I hate it, but I see her agony. I can't deny her this. Isn't this like suicide? Uh, I'm gonna ask this other question. Is it okay if I ask what happened? I don't mean to pry, but I'm new. I, I really don't know. I know, but it happened to Aphrodite, not me. It's not my story to tell. What if I could help? I can't ask her, you're right. What if I could help? If I know what she was dealing with, I, I might be able to help. Could you? I suppose it wouldn't hurt. What happened is that brother Ares happened. He missed out on the first world-spanning war, you see, so he was damned if he'd miss out on the next one. He found some jack-booted mortals, so full of themselves and their supremacy, and he told them about the idols. Then they came for us, took us completely by surprise. Some they killed, but Aphrodite, her they captured. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is not okay. No wonder she's so not okay. Aphrodite was captured, but she's here now. So she must have escaped. She didn't. Do you know the name Hephaestus? Now wasn't he a smith of some kind? Giant hammer lived in a mountain? Some of that is mortal fancy. But yes, he was Aphrodite's husband, and he adored her beyond reason. 
when he found out the mortals were torturing her, he went mad. He was determined to save her. Wait, they tortured her? Nothing extreme, I'm told. They were too frightened, but they were also determined to wring every last secret out of her. So, who knows how long that fear would have lasted. Thus, Hephaestus made a deal. With the, um, jackbooted guys? No, with their enemies. That's what saved her. And yeah, what was this deal? Then this deal is how Aphrodite survived. It's how we all survived. It's what brought us to the new world. Hephaestus saved us all. We never saw him again. That was the deal. He would leave, make their precious weapons, and never look back. Aphrodite never even got to say goodbye. It's funny, because Aphrodite didn't even like Hephaestus when they were married. She seemed to resent every minute they were together. But now... Now he's all she can think about. Oh, man. I don't want to ask if it's like that feels like too much. Uh, maybe she needs my help. What is my part in all of this? I'll help if I can. Aphrodite loves drama. She always has. She wants us here to... Well, to remember. To celebrate our history. She'll ask you to use your power as part of the celebration. Could you use it to inspire her? I can't force anyone to do anything they don't want to, Eros. That's not what I'm asking. I believe that deep down, she doesn't want to do this any longer. She must see it isn't working. She just needs the strength to... to try. Or I hope that's all she needs. I will do my best. I'll try, if you think it'll do some good. I don't know if it will. I just find it hard to believe it could get any worse. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Tell me about it. Do whatever you think is right, Grace. And thank you. My family, having you all here, gathered once again to see me off, it moves me more than I can say. My loves, my darlings, my dearest friends, and you. Oh, my dear sweet thing, I dare not hope that you, with all your troubles, might sing me to my sleep. Yet here you are. Yet here she is. Huh. You should. You could have invited me. Can we talk in private? And uh, nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you, Aphrodite. Properly this time. Ah, oh, yes. Poor Calliope. Such a loss to us all. I shall miss her dearly. To have come so far, only. No, it doesn't bear thinking about. <laughs> it's too much. Is this Grace, my lady? The new muse? Oh! What manners I have! Grace, Grace! Meet the lovely mortal woman who shall tonight become the new me! Hi, my name's Venus, and yes, it really is Venus. Nice to meet you, Grace. Well, you, you seem nice. You were chosen. Nice to meet you. Uh, you were chosen. Hi! I have to admit, it'll be weird watching this happen the, uh, proper way. Because I'm chosen? Yeah. I wasn't. Not, not like this, anyhow. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Lady Aphrodite told me. I'm so sorry. That sounds awful. There will be so much time for you lovelies to speak later. Now, we must prepare for my departure. Oh, I can't be compassionate. I really need your help first. I want to talk you out of this. Tell me what my role is. I want to... Maybe this? Are you sure we can't talk first? 
I really need your help, Aphrodite. I know you do, my dear. I wish I could be there for you, but I'm afraid my time is up. But since you've shown such kindness in coming, I will ask Eros to make himself available to you afterwards. There's nothing I know that he does not. He is my son, my truest friend, my longest love. Won't he be... a little distracted? Eros has been through this before, Grace. He knows what must be done. I know that's like way too direct. It'll probably upset her, so I will say, tell me what my role is. Um, I have to admit, it's it's not clear what my part in all this is supposed to be. How could it be? You've barely just arrived, darling girl. How did you even find out about it? That would be Persephone's doing. Apollo! Oh, you've come after all! You look remarkably well, cousin. I've had a great deal of time to prepare. I assure you that would not be the case. <laughs> As for you, Grace, have you gathered the true purpose of tonight's gathering? To remember. Any excuse for a party? I don't know. To forget. To remember. If I had to guess, it's to remember. One last time before all your memories go away. Each time the veil lifts, it leaves behind a little less. For me, old Olympus is long forgotten. The glory of Rome, a distant dream. I hope that one day the veil will lift and what happened during the war will also slip into oblivion. But it hasn't. Thus, for now we honor the memory of what was, lest tomorrow it be gone forever. Go, enjoy the gathering, Grace. Tell me when you're ready to begin. <laughs> Damn, okay. Um, I kind of want to talk to Venus. Is Venus really okay with all of this? I should apologize, Grace. Saying that I was chosen like I'm somehow more special, I really didn't mean it that way. I hope you can... I'm sorry. It looks like I'll be doing that a lot. Lady Aphrodite said I'm ready, but I don't know. You can't be ready for this. Uh, second thoughts? It's hard to be ready for something like this. Having second thoughts? If so, now's probably the time to mention it. I would never do that to Lady Aphrodite. I'm just nervous. That's understandable. If, if I can ask, what does it feel like after it happened? Do you feel different? Um, it happened so fast. <laughs> uh, I didn't really feel different. I had magical powers. Um, not really. I still felt like me, if that's what you're asking. You didn't remember anything? About her? Who she was? She was just gone? Yeah. Isn't that the point of all this? I just wanted to be sure. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it could be real. Uh, you're okay with all of this? Are you really okay with all this? You know what's gonna happen, right? I saw a lot of people in crisis at the shelter. I knew something was wrong with Lady Aphrodite. She's in so much pain, Grace. She won't let you see how much. Errol's called me one night desperate. She wouldn't stop screaming. She didn't know where she was. She... She's a good person, Grace. A good soul. She deserves mercy. Oh, no. I don't know what the right thing to do is. <laughs> How do you know Aphrodite exactly? <laughs> so I was working at this homeless shelter, right? A couple of years ago... And she came in with one of the older residents. 
And she was there in this like amazing dress. And she's sitting with this guy and really listening to him. Like they were old friends or something. I just thought, what is someone like her doing in a place like this? So I just went over and introduced myself. That's it? Just like that? <laughs> yeah. She came back to the shelter a few times, but by then, I guess she'd taken an interest in me instead. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave you to it. You probably need to get ready. I shouldn't keep you. No. This is Lady Aphrodite's big night, not mine. It'll be yours later, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it will. Okay, oh man, I mean, she's right that Aphrodite is suffering, but she seems so unsure about all of this. Plus, Eros just wanting it to stop, and like, maybe Aphrodite will see that it's not working. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best to stop it. Even though it kind of feels a little wrong, I don't know, I don't know which way to go. We're gonna try and stop it, that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> okay, shake it off, guys, shake it off, we got this. I have tried so hard, fought for so long, but in the end, I must bid you all farewell once again. But before I go, I would like us all to remember the sacrifices that brought us here to this strange new world. This time, it is with the help of our lovely muse that we shall be guided. We let them rise. We let it happen. I'm stressed. <laughs> we thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong. We were wrong. Since the beginning we were hidden. We held court from up above. Twas the golden age of reason, and I the queen of love. But a plague of hate was spreading, and there were vultures standing by. Before we fell to our knees begging, we fell from the sky. We let them rise, we let it happen. We waited far too long We thought we shouldn't intervene We were wrong, we were wrong We sought shelter from the shadows But were soon ripped from the dark Those mortal souls that ended us Were jealous from the start they hunted me for power to fuel their psychopathic cause. And once they fell before me and worshipped all I was, they chased me down and threw me in a cage, held me prisoner for so long. I thought that win their hearts again. I was wrong. Uh, uh. I don't know. <laughs> I see you have the power. It's a poisonous reward. My virtues only scorn me when I was once a dog. Loved by every mortal, then ripped from paradise. No one suffered greater till he. Enemy, 
made a secret weapon so my captors let me go. He gave up his freedom leaving just a memory and this love I'll never know is what he gave to me. Oh, messed up. I tried. I did try. Oh, no. <sighs> I panicked there at the end. 
Are you... I'm... I'm fine. I'm still myself. I, I, I thought there'd be something more, that I'd feel her presence, but she's just... gone. Hmm. She'll be back. But she'll also be you. She'll be... different. I'll try to be ready. I promise. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't know what to do half the time. I was like, oh, this is happening too fast. I don't know. I don't know what choice to make. And then at the end there, I was like, okay, maybe maybe I can spin this a little bit. And I was like, hey, like, you know, try to live or something like that. You know, you, know, you, you try to deal with it, try to survive. And then it got to that end part that was like, you need to live. And I'm like, do I do that? Or like compassion of like, you know, the choice is yours. Like, I can't make this choice for you. And I thought that maybe, maybe it would go better. But no, I should have, I should have said you should live or you need to live. I don't know. Ah, I feel bad. It was not the outcome I wanted. I panicked too hard. But it's the outcome that we got, guys. So let's roll with it. I'm really sorry, Eros. I know you wanted me to convince Aphrodite to change her mind, but... It's all right. There's no convincing her, was there? She didn't have the strength to fight any longer. At least, now she can rest. I... I suppose that's true. Before we go, Aphrodite told me you wanted her help to learn about Calliope's death. I'm not my mother, but... Maybe there's something I can tell you. Do you have any suspects yet? I have theories. For starters, it has to be one of the idols. An idol killing another idol? That... hasn't happened in a while. It had to be someone who knew Calliope and wanted her gone, with enough knowledge and power to fool the chorus. They didn't plan for Calliope to get away. I was an accident. They covered up everything else so well. You're probably right, Grace. You're thinking of Medusa, aren't you? Why do you suspect her? Okay, I'll bite. Why would this Medusa be involved? And why isn't she a suspect? She wasn't implicated in Calliope's death, no, but... Mother always distrusted her. Medusa works for Athena as, well, as a watcher. That's how Lady Aphrodite described it. Mother always complained there was something wrong about Medusa, that she would be trouble eventually. Athena disagreed. If you're going to start looking into anyone, Grace, start with her. Come now, Ma Venus. It's been a long night. <laughs> I'll get you home. Thank you for everything, Grace. Truly. It was a wonderful song. So, did they have anything helpful? Maybe. What do you know about Medusa? Medusa? As a rather dark name to unearth, are you thinking of seeking her out? Is there another way? I mean, if I can find her, yeah. I am. Do you know where she is? Not really, no. Medusa makes it her business to stay out of sight. Athena employs her as a spy master, a hound to do her bidding, a vicious hound at that. Athena's not likely to tell either of us where to find Medusa. I can't say for certain who would know. Are you all right, Grace? You seem troubled. Thinking of, um, uh, uh, Aphrodite. What Aphrodite went through, it, it's a lot. Yeah, that's the funny thing about the life of an immortal. It never ends. Wow. Way to really sell it, Apollo. <laughs> uh, 
How are things with Persephone? Is she helping as much as you thought? <laughs> are you worried? Yes, but I'm not sure why. I like yeah, her. I kind of like her. Way more than I thought I would. Why? All I mean to ask is... Has she said anything... About... No. Never mind. It's none of my business. Please forget I asked. Give my regards to Persephone when you see her. Pretty sus there, Apollo. I can't get over how good that song was, though. Oh my god. Ugh, Apollo. Look at that face. Oh, so dramatic. <laughs> well done, by the way. And cheers to you, Aphrodite. You shall be missed. For a few years, at least. Did I do the right thing? Don't joke. You kept things from me. Um, like, it's really not that big of a deal. More like, did I do the right thing? I still don't know if I did the right thing. Well, it was never up to you, Grace. The choice has always been Aphrodite's. She's been in hell since the war. And you? You were only a visitor. I remember the last time I passed on my idol. 1952. I was married to, uh, well, say you'd call him a gangster. More of a thug. A mean, vicious little thug. Persephone saved me from him. He tore his head clean off. But not before he fired a shotgun into her chest. My chest? Huh. Whatever. Do you remember her? That sounds awful. <laughs> Why tell me this? Nah, do you remember her? Do you remember who you were before? I still am her. Chastity, that is. <laughs> you can see why I switched names. Oh, I remember being disgusted I was ever that weak. And Persephone made me strong. But it never really goes away. We all have our sordid history, our personal horrors, building up like sediment around our souls. You can't let it bury you, Grace. You are the only one who can keep your head afloat. Damn right I'm gonna romance. You're incredible. You know that? There's no need to be facetious, Grace. No, really. I am incredible. It's true. It's good that you recognize this. <laughs> okay, I take it back. Oh, you can't take it back, Grace. I would have thought you'd learned that by now. Excuse me? <laughs> no way. They're so cute. After centuries of cruel injustice, everybody working against me, every idol but for one, violent with apathy. We couldn't reach a resolution when you and I, you and I, I'm queen of the underworld, and you praise you. Something seems familiar about you. Music is a bop, dude. <laughs> Gods like me don't have too much to hope for. The rules been fixed throughout the ages. So I have forged a daring path. I would like to make some changes. You see, we can win a revolution. You and I. And now I understand 
for stage you're welcome time to go home that was rude you can't do that to me no was that too Get much here, was that bad no 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 are you kidding me <laughs> they were so close it was so close you can't do that! You can't do that! <laughs> I'm flustered! That's... You can't do that! Goddamn! Was that bad? I, cause I was really panicking between... I can see your heart or... We're both fighters! I was like, but the both fighters thing really seems like Persephone! But then, I was like, oh... But your heart, like, you know, maybe she might like a little bit on the soft side. But now I don't know if that was actually a good thing and maybe something will happen later. Or if that was actually bad and I shouldn't have done that. Oh, man. Dude. Oh. Thanks for giving me a full-on crisis. <laughs> okay. That is unfortunately where I'm going to end today's episode. With a full-on gay crisis, and uh, me failing to make it so that Aphrodite does not pass on. But, oh well, we'll try to not do that, I guess, in the next playthrough that we do. But, I'm really enjoying where the story is going right now, and I'm sad to end the episode here. But don't worry, there will be more. Love this game so far, it's so good! I can't get over how good it is! And the songs in this episode were also fire! Like, seriously guys... I don't know, listen to the music, I don't know if it's your thing, like, it's on Spotify, you can get the different, uh, versions, like, there's the green, the blue, and the red, like, all the different choices, you can listen to each different version, pick which one you really like, it's amazing, this game's so good, I can't get over it, ah, <laughs> definitely, uh, next episode, we are going to look into Freddy and the Reliquary, so, thank you guys so much for being here, and make sure to hit the follow subscribe whatever that button is the like and subscribe that's what it is this is youtube not twitch like and subscribe only if you want to i don't control you but it's appreciated <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you and i will see you guys in the next episode of stray gods